It was 30 years ago that the Texas Parks and Wildlife television series, originally known as Made in Texas, got its start. Kyle Banowski is one of more than 30 producers, photographers, writers, and editors who have contributed to the show since its first broadcast in 1985. My name is Kyle Banowski. I'm the operations manager and one of the producers for the show. And I'd have to say my favorite episode is The Sinking of the Kenta. I got to ride out on a game-worn boat about eight miles off the coast of Corpus Christi and actually witness the sinking of a giant ship that would become an artificial reef. That was something I never thought I would see in my life as a boat sinking in the ocean. So I hope you like it. This will be the last one to come off, man. In 24 hours, this ship will sink in the Gulf of Mexico. We're in uh, Port Aransas right now with the uh, Kenta, which is a 155-foot ship that we're going to take offshore tomorrow morning and reef at uh, our Corpus Christi near shore reef site. The Kenta will be the newest reef in Texas Parks and Wildlife's artificial reef program. Basically what we have is a huge piece of metal that will benefit the local environment. Marine organisms will begin to grow on it. Fish will be attracted to it immediately. It's been cleaned of environmental hazards and it's ready to go. The next morning, the crew tows the Kenta through the Aransas ship channel towards her final destination. The reef site is eight miles offshore and in 75 feet of water. Uh, Roger, so we're within the reef site. We are in the very soon process of the deployment of the MV Quinta S. The Quinta's last passengers will pull the plugs to sink the ship. So the water will start coming in at the stern and then gradually the water will fill up the ballast uh, tanks uh, one by one from the stern to the fore and the rear of the ship should hit the bottom. And then eventually the bow will follow suit and it will land perfectly upright and everyone will celebrate. She's a little heavy on the starboard side, but so far so good. The Kenta lands perfectly, ready to become a new habitat for sea life and a new spot for anglers and divers to enjoy for years to come.